Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 19th, 20th, 21, and 22nd. That's Monday through Thursday. Now, this is a general reading, so you know I'm going to be using, of course, my Radley Valentine decks. I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading. I'll pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Now, we do. We are coming to the end of Cancer season, and we will be entering into Leo season. So you'll see there's the long, what I call the long readings, and that'll be from July 22nd to August 22nd. Please take a look at those. I've also posted... Um, in the community page, and I'm doing this in the descriptions too, so they should be popping up with this, how to navigate through the readings. I do two readings a week. They're what I call the short readings. Once a month, right before the new season is coming, I do the long readings. So please take a look at that. Now, a couple of things. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to let the message out. No filters, or at least try not to filter too much with my own um, interpretation, maybe. Let's put it that way. Um, we do have some interesting energies that are going on. July season, I mean, Leo season has a lot of bizarre stuff going on. So, And we've got the two full moons in Aquarius, which I think is extremely unusual. I, I, I really didn't research it, but it is, I, to me, I think that's an unusuality. Um, and then there's other things going on, too. So take a look at the longer readings. That will be, I talk about these bells, that part, ba 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 in the introduction. Um, also, too, we do have some word on solar storms happening. So, you know, if you're having headaches, if you're feeling a little nauseated, if you just have this sense of something unusual happening, a lot of this energy is going on right now. Now, any of the cards that are reversed usually mean, well, they mean stronger message. Please take a look at that. And the court cards do have different types of energies to them also besides what's being shown. I talk about that if they come up. Um, also to, let's see, also to, well, let's go ahead. And what we're going to do is we are going to do a couple of cards just the overlying energy, and this is with the Weight Rider traditional tarot, okay? So let's see what we have going on. You know, and this is, this could be very personal to you, but this is very much an overview in kind of the world type of energies. And we do, we do have some very bizarre things going on. You know, the solar storms, I do think that they're affecting people um, not necessarily positively, and we know that that's going on. Um, so this is one of the reasons. When the people that comment to me, they, you know, we have a little bit of a communication going on. And, you know, I feel that you were brought here for a reason. And one of the, I think the main reason is that we can encourage each other to keep our vibrations high. There's a lot of low vibration um, people, energies out there, and we need to help to counter it. So just, just know that. That's kind of like we're on a mission. We're on a mission. So let's see what we might have. And let's see, we're going to pull, okay, we're going to pull three cards from the Weight Rider or the Rider deck. Sometimes it goes by that. One, two, and three. Well, let's see what we might have. Make them pretty. Okay, I don't know if these are reversed or not, so we'll just flip them. First card. Okay, so now this is the one that people say, can you put this back in the deck? Okay. This is reversed. This is a three of swords. And also, to remember, numbers have meanings. Numbers are very, very strong. I just give you a little peek into the numbers. But a lot of, basically, um, numbers is a way of communication from the angelic force, the angelic realm. Okay, so when I tell you to go and take a look at these numbers in, you know, what I'm saying is, you know, well, you can you can meditate, pray over the numbers, and sometimes the energies will, you know, sometimes the messages can come. Um, but sometimes it's really easy to just go to the Internet, type in the numbers, and put angelic meanings um, or, 
you know, what do these numbers mean? And then read what, you know, read the pop-up, do the search engine, read what pops up, and see what really, really resonates with you. So three. Three has a lot of um, interesting energy, too. So there is the power of three. When you do something three times, say something three times, have two other people with you in agreement. Very strong energy there. Also, trinity energy. Also, creativity energy. So this is, you know, like, and what is creativity? Creativity is, you know, the birth of a new idea, the birth of a new venture. So here we have the three of swords. And like I said, this is the one that people generally like you to just kind of put back in the deck and let's, uh, let's just not think about this. The, um, the three of swords is an interesting one. Swords is air energy. It is our Gemini, our Libra. It's also our Aquarius energy. And we do have those, you know, those, new, those full moons coming up. So, you know, this is our thoughts, our, our thoughts, our plans, hearing news also. Um, so if you look at this, there's the storm clouds behind it. Uh, but yet it is not necessarily raining on top of it. So something is behind us. Something is behind us. The other thing about the swords, if you look, it is it is in a heart. So this is something that is hurtful. This is something that has, you know, has, you know, basically something that we did not want to really deal with or want to deal with even now. But if you look at this, if you had three swords sticking in your heart and these were current, you would be, excuse me, a bloody mess, okay? This, these are usually older wounds, older wounds that you are not necessarily dealing with or facing in the present. So this is when I tell you that this is when higher power, and I'll talk about higher power, your guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is to you, the source, that's personal for you, okay? Okay, so it's kind of saying that this is a weight that you are still carrying with you. So this is, so if we're doing this for an overview of the world, this is a weight that continues, that continues, and we're just darn old tired of it. This is some energies that just are kind of like, it is time for us to push them off. It is time for us to start healing. It is time. So this is kind of that energy. This is not current but it's still current because we carry it with us. Okay? Okay. So something is, to me, this is something that we're going to have to possibly address in the world. This is world energy. So the, we're going to have to address this. Possibly, you know, it will come up more and more this week, this Monday through Thursday. Now, granted, energies don't shift. I mean, they don't shift quickly. Um, you know, well, unless it's Mercury. Uh, but anyway, but... A lot of times with the energies, they transition. So sometimes the transition can be actually quick. I shouldn't have said they don't. Sometimes it can be quick, but a lot of times they move. That's why when we do our readings, sometimes it's a continuation. Many times it's a continuation of the week before and the week before. But this is something that we might be even recognizing. Um, like I said, the storm clouds are behind us. Even though it's raining, they are behind us. They are not falling upon us, okay? But it is something that the world needs to kind of move on from, move on from. Let's see what the next card is. The King of Swords. Now, I told you that the court cards have underlying energy. So the King's underlying energy is Swords. And this is the King of Swords. We talked about what this is. Now, this is someone that has seen and done everything. This is considered, the King of Swords is actually considered the oldest of all the tarot cards of all the tarot um, messages. Um, he, and this is a masculine energy. We all have feminine and masculine energies in us, you know, to some degree. But the King of Sword uses his wisdom. He has seen everything. He has learned a lot. He is very, very objective. The thing is, he's also, I, I like to think of him as very laser focused, okay? Very much, but yet not necessarily so focus that he doesn't see the other parts of what's going on, but he's able to he's able to remove a lot of the noise, a lot of the emotions, and just get down to the facts. Get down to what truly, truly is what matters. A lot of times we, because we are emotional spirits, I like to think of us ourselves as not necessarily bodies with spirits, but spirits with bodies. Okay, so we, you know, so we, we do have that emotion. We do have a lot of caring. A lot of time our caring 
clouds our objectivity. So this is about being objective. This is about looking at things very clearly and moving away, so, uh, moving away the emotions. Now we can be kind, we can be caring, but the King of Swords is very much, this is what needs to be done, very objective energy. Next card. Okay, and that is reversed. So the, here we have an eight. Eight has unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities, but th this is also strength. This is, you know, this is that we have this, part of this is two messages. This is a twofold message. One is we will need strength. The other is we do have the strength. And part of that is us all together raising those vibrations, connecting with our source, connecting with our higher power to continue to keep us strong through this time. But there is also this gentleness. There is also this kindness. So to me, there is some things... <laughs> Yeah, you know, we've got a lot of that sword energy. There's some things that have to move on. There's some things that the well, the world. There's some things the world has to move on from. There's some things that the world has to, um, you know, basically see clearer than what they're necess what the world is necessarily um, demonstrating or seeing. There's too much. There is more emotion, so there is a time for clarity coming, um, and this is about strength. So this would just be, you know, we need to keep on our path. We need to be connecting however we connect and whoever we connect with, okay? So, and we just need to stay strong during this week. Um, again, this is, we are entering into Leo season. It's got some wonderfully positive energy and it's got some just old, you know, just old kind of um, wonky energy. I know that's my, that's my term. We have some wonky energy coming up in Leo season. Okay, so, why don't we start our readings? Hello, my Scorpios. How are my sweet ones doing? Well, I, we're coming to the end of Cancer season, about to go into Leo season. It's got some big stuff. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell. There's been some blockages to the energies, so please do that. Also, I hope you, are watch, you watch the introduction at least one time. Their spirit has been moving. Spirit is moving. Messages want to come out. Let's see what we have here for my Scorpios. Let's see. Ah, oh, my Scorpios, my Scorpios. So much, so much energy around you. Um, I would say make sure you stay organized during this because the energies do feel a little scattered, do feel kind of like they're, they're it's like a push-pull pattern, okay? It's like push, pull, push, pull. So just feel, just make sure you stay organized. That's the best thing to say. First card for my Scorpios, the eight of Ariel. Now, eights, unlimited opportunities, and remember, numbers speak. So I hope you have a pen and paper and you're writing down the numbers. And also, if any of the angels' um, cards come up, that you write down them, their names too, because they are here to help. Anyway, eights have unlimited opportunities, things happening, but you have to be prepared for it. You, you know, preparation to meet opportunity, the definition of luck. So you need to make sure that you've done your studying. Again, this goes back to that organization that I was feeling very strongly for you. So kind of keep yourself focused, but at the same time, be open to learning more. You don't know it all, my Scorpios. I know that's hard to believe, <laughs> but there's always something more for you to learn. Because once we think that we've learned everything, then what's the purpose? What's the purpose? So there's more for you to learn, more, for, more coming to you, more for you to study, more for you to excel in. Now, Ariel is work energy. It is, well, it's earth energy. It is our Virgo, our Capricorn, our Taurus energy, very solid, some tangible. Could be about your home. Usually it's about your job, your money, your income, possibly even a new career opportunity. And I'm not even, I'm not talking so much that you're working for someone else as much as you're working for yourself. Okay, so that could be a sideline. But again, you do not, you know, I'm sorry, my Scorpios, you need to learn a little bit more. You need to, and not to say to, that's to stop you from venturing but as you go continue continue to learn continue to grow okay now take great pride in your excellent work practice makes perfect consider getting additional education or training next card up the page of gabriel so we have a lot of work energy or a lot earth energy here and again earth it really does 
you know, relate to work, but again, it can be other things. Now, Paige's underlying energy is that earth energy that we just talked about. Gabriel is our fire energy. It is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, passionate. Oh my gosh, something that you really want to get after, something you really want to go for. So this opportunity is there for you. Now, I do feel like you need to, you know, kind of let go of some of the bonds, the bonds that are holding you. Now, that could go back to that introduction with that three of swords. That could be something that you need to work for, through in order for you to, you know, jump forward. Because the page, this is like, you know, this is like when you're with somebody and they just want to rush right in and you're kind of holding their energy back. I feel like this is you wanting to rush right in, but you have to even hold your energy back because it's kind of like, you know, no, let's take things a little slower. Let's, let's not to the point of inertia though. Okay, let's think things through a little bit more. But there is such a passion here. And pages are extremely optimistic. Pages are, you know, you give them a, you give them a situation or a problem. Oh yeah, we can solve that. So, you know, and, you know, they're, they're not, um, page, the page energy for you, my Scorpio, is bubbling. It's a bubbling energy. Anyway, the page of Gabriel is energetic, brave, optimistic, playful. So enjoy, the, enjoy this energy. Enjoy the time around you. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excellent, for excitement and adventures. Yeah, I'm going to need new glasses soon. I like these. Here we go. Next card, the four of Gabriel. So we have an eight and a four, divisible by two. So, okay, something with that. Um, Gabriel, we just talked about. Four has a stability to it. Four has an organizational energy. Um, you know, four has some leadership too. But the four of Gabriel is a celebration. There's a sense of freedom with the four of Gabriel. There's a sense of, oh, yay! type of energy with the four of Gabriel okay so whatever this is for you this week it's kind of, it's got all this yay energy all over it it's got this oh my gosh things are happening energy all over this embrace it embrace the yay here we go time for a celebration abundant rewards for hard work release yourself from burdensome situations so again that that release goes back to that three of swords very much so Okay, let's go on and see what we might have with these, the angel cards. The angel cards, here we are. This is reversed. The nine of water. Okay, so we have an eight, four, and nine. Definitely think about these cards. Look these up. The numbers, I should say. Water energy is your energy. Pisces and Cancer energy. Um, it is, you know, emotional, committed. Nines have a wrap-up. It is like, oh, it is done. Let's move on type of energy. But the nine of water is about wish cards, is about wishes. We are in the new moon to the full moon, and this is put out your wishes, pull out your, put out your requests. This is the waxing moon. So this is the, you know, as things get bigger and bigger. So this is, again, this is the wish card. Make a wish. Make a wish. But again, too, your energies, like I said in the beginning, they're a little bit kind of all over the place, so stay organized during this time, during this week. Okay. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. Yeah. Whew. Oh, and you know what? I just looked over, and there was this card just sitting there. So when I picked it up, it just might have uh, just not come. So let's take a look and see what this is. Oh, the Six of Air. The six of air. Now, it's interesting that your eights and your fours are divisible by twos. Your nines and your sixes divisible by threes. So something with that. Air energy is our, you know, we talk, I talked about it in the beginning, you know, when I talk about swords. So the air energy, you know, letting things, you know, basically plans, thoughts, you know, hearing news. Six is the number of man. So a lot of this has gone is the effort you put into this. But the six of air is kind, it does have that breaking free type of energy moving on. The light is, you know, the, the what is it? It's all, you know, it's moving towards the light in the natural, not in that supernatural. So don't go to the light if it's supernatural. Anyway, uh, you know, it, it's moving forward. Things are moving for you, my Scorpios. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. So there is movement, movement, movement. 
but stay organized with this. And I, I do like that. I think I'm going to use this in the description. Embrace the yay. Embrace the yay. Okay. Oops. Let's see what crystal or energy for my Scorpios. Oh, I love this for you, my Scorpios. You have been, you know, you go through so much. You feel very deeply. Let's, let's have this wonderful week for you. Let's go on. This is reversed. Aragon Star Clusters. I actually have that on hand. Oh, I think this might have gotten smaller. Here we go. Earth Healing, Grounding, Stress Relief, Vitality. If you have one of these may, or maybe want to get one of these, they shouldn't be too expensive. Um, carry it with you. Put it at your bedside. Whatever you want to do with that, but I like that. Good stuff. Good stuff for my Scorpios. Okay, my Scorpios. Remember again, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. Most importantly, of course, remember and know, my Scorpios, that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.